first dove the world famous wall at Cane Bay on St. Croix as a member of my high school scuba club about 12 years ago. Now each dive on the wall brings back fond memories of my high school years, but is also a reminder that things have definitely changed in the Caribbean coral reefs. For some years now, our reefs have been on the decline as a result of global climate change and associated impacts, overfishing and harmful fishing practices, as well as both point and non-point sources of pollution. Elkhorn and staghorn corals, for example, once the primary coral reef building species in the Caribbean, have declined past 90% of their original population levels and are now considered threatened under the United States Endangered Species Act. Hope for these corals in the U.S. Virgin Islands came in 2009 when the Nature Conservancy established the USBI Coral Restoration Program through funding from the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. TNC marine scientists grow and multiply elkhorn and staghorn fragments in seafloor nurseries around St. Croix and St. Thomas. Fragments of opportunity, those that are broken by natural processes such as hurricanes, storms, and highway of energy events are continually rescued and placed in our nursery where they're maintained. We regularly maintain our nurseries to prevent the overgrowth of algae as well as predation by corallivore bristleworms and snails, and we collect data on genetics, survivorship, and annual growth rates. At the end, nursery-grown corals are transplanted to coral reefs throughout the USVI, helping to restore those degraded reefs. To date, we have grown over 2,500 corals in our nursery and have recently outplanted 1,000 corals onto USVI reefs. This project has significant and tangible ecological impact, including an increase in local biodiversity, along with enhanced ecosystem services for many visitors and residents alike. The scientific expertise involved in this project, along with the scientific rigor guiding the core of operations of this project, will directly benefit elkhorn and staghorn species and also set the precedent for how active core propagation will help to recover these threatened species. At the end of the day, this all translates into healthier corals, healthier reefs, and an increase in marine population that depend on those reefs for their own survival. The human impact is clear. The Coral Restoration Program has created jobs locally, and the restoration of reefs are important for local communities, not just for dive charters and commercial fishers, but to each and every person that depend on coral reefs for their many ecological, economic, and cultural importance. This project has personally given me hope, and has proven that along with many other projects at the Nature Conservancy, restoration works. I'm driven by our success, I'm happy that I'm learning something new every day, and I'm excited that by working to protect nature, I'm helping to preserve lives.